Hello you guys, I am back again. Uh, this week I have another haul for you guys and I know it's another haul video. I am so sorry, I, I really am. If you don't like haul videos, you can just click on the close button and go to the next videos. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from Ulta. Okay, I got three things from Ulta and um, yeah, and it's not... It's I, I just wanted to try it out because I saw it on the on the on the aisle that I was like oh it you know it says matte so I went ahead and bought it I didn't even I didn't even try it out I just bought Studio Gear Studio Matte Foundation and this I mean I I got it like let's say a week ago this one is thirty ml just like any other foundation and I got it because I saw the studio matte foundation you know about me and matte so yeah and so I got this for $23 which isn't bad for a foundation this one I when I first put it on I liked how it looked on me I liked how uh, flawless it made my skin how nice the coverage was I liked it but I'm not in love with it okay now I'll tell you why the reason for me not liking this foundation was because it oxidized it oxidizes on me I have oily skin and not especially summertime and this foundation oxidizes like crazy so I got the color in wheat you know I thought it was gonna be like the perfect summer color for me it's a bit too dark maybe about a shade and a half or two darker than my skin tone but I went ahead, I just went ahead and tried it out anyway you know and I tried it out for three days straight okay last week I tried it out three days straight and every time I put it on it looked good at first but later on the day like two hours three hours later I noticed that when I look in the mirror it made my skin look orange and it was just dark but but the best thing is I mattified my skin but I just didn't like how the color was work on me so maybe I'll go ahead and maybe I'll go and change the color or whatnot but the color range are not really good because they're either they're most of them are like either too pink undertone or too dark so I'm not sure but yeah but if you are in an NC40-42 color, you should try and check this color out in wheat because this might work for you. And if you have oily skin, this might work for you uh, as well. From Ulta, this Too Faced Absolutely Invisible Candlelight. Now this is a highlight. This is sort of like Narciss, oh, Nars, the highlight one, Albatross. This is sort of like that, but... This one is, I like how the packaging is. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. This is an illuminating translucent powder. And what you do is, you know, it says that you put it on after your foundation as a setting powder. But I don't want really to do that because it has shimmer. So I don't want to look oil shimmery all over. So what I do is I use this as a highlight. And right here on my cheek, uh, on my upper cheeks, right here, and um, underneath my eyebrows, right here, and it just looks very, very pretty. It says it's made with pure gold. Now, I'm not sure if it's made with pure gold, and I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. But you could use this to apply after your foundation as a highlight or as a translucent powder but I suggest using this as a highlight because it looks good with it because it had the color is sort of like a gold shimmer I went to the CCO and like on the weekends and I got another sophisticated brow gel which is this one right here because obviously I have blonde hair so I use the sophisticated and it works well I have it on so yeah a lipstick in mellow mood this is the one right here the finish is the luster the color is just like a neutral brown color black pigment 
the original kind pink bronze this one right here it's like dual chrome I don't know it has pink and a bronze color I got another pigment also in tea time this is tea time it's just a plain black I mean black brown color with a little bit of a shimmer to it that's that the studio stick foundation in NC 32 it's a really good match for me right now and yeah it just adds like more of an extra coverage if you want an extra coverage and the finish is very flawless it's full of course it's full coverage foundation and it's very creamy and it's easy to apply you just do like swipes um, and you know and then you blend it out and that's how easy this is to use just like the Shu Omura Nubara cream Nubara stick and I only got one eyeshadow I got one eyeshadow from I don't know this is solar from solar collection it's the magnetic fields eyeshadow and it's a velux pearl which I like which I love the finish of velux pearl so this is the color it's sort of like I don't know very pigmented it's like grayish taupe color and you could do for a smoky eye with this absolutely a beautiful color for a smoky eye 